Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. It is January 2nd, 2020. Please like, subscribe and share to help support our channel. Lock in your copy of the Currency Exchange Planner. Mention the denarian and get the pre-negotiated price for all of my subscribers. Start the new year off right. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being today. Introducing the new Carrot Bar platform. Now is the time to get involved so I can help you to help yourself. It's free to sign up and you will be ahead of everyone else. Get yourself set up today and be a part of my team. The Carrot Bar program is the true future of money. It takes a gold-backed currency and the blockchain technology to the next level and you can be a part of the technology as it advances forward. Imagine being a part of Bitcoin when it first started and what it is worth today. You have the opportunity of a lifetime to get in on the ground floor of this program with me. Do yourself a favor and pause this video right now and go check it out. The link to the Carrot Bar platform is in the description drop down below. I encourage you, stay ahead of the rest, take the initiative, and join me today on the blockchain-based Carrot Bar platform and let me help you to start off the year right. Okay you're back. First off, today I want to congratulate the over 250 of you that did join the Carrot Bar platform so far. You have seen the power of the program firsthand and let me tell you, it's just going to get better from here as you learn more. 2020 will be the year this program takes off, and you are center stage. I look forward to working with all of you, together we will pave the way. Let's get started with today's news. First article of interest for today, a closed meeting of the Building Alliance gives seven names to head the interim government. Leaders of the Construction Alliance held a closed meeting, on Thursday, January 2, 2020, to resolve and filter the names used to nominate for the position of Prime Minister in charge of forming the interim government. Informed sources said in statements to local media, the meeting discussed the presentation of three candidates for the position, while others suggested naming five candidates that the President of the Republic choose to assign one of them during the next week. The sources added, the names that have been put forward are each of the head of the Judicial Supervision Authority, Jassim Al-Amiri, and Judge Muhammad al as well as former candidates Mustafa Al-Kazemi, the Lieutenant General of Dual Ghani al-Asadi, Salam al-Maliki, Tafiq al-Yasiri and Ahmad al-Hassani, for the position of Prime Minister in charge of forming the interim government. The construction bloc had earlier submitted the name of Azad al-Aidani, the governor of Basra, as its candidate for the position of prime minister, to succeed resigned Adel Abdul Mahdi. Next article of interest, Youth Spirit of the Renaissance of the Iraqi Economy, the Association of Banks as a Model. Our great Iraq since October 1, 2019 is going through a popular youth mobilization conscious of its role in creating the Renaissance of Iraq, the patient, who suffers from economic, security and political shocks, and financial and administrative corruption that is rampant in an organized way in all areas of life. Therefore, the peaceful youth movement knows well what their efforts and programs need strategies and methodology implemented by the patriotic, efficient and enthusiastic sons of Iraq for reform and radical and comprehensive change in all new building rings. And the most important link that occupies a priority in front of the new government is economic reform, achieving economic stability and building a new reform structure led by the news. Ian Youth Conscious and whose agenda is focused on the service of Iraq and its people only without partisanship or awaktal quotas. This prompts us to think carefully that we benefit from the experience of young people in emerging economies which now constitute economic poles that influence the leadership of the global economy by relying on the capabilities of their youth and their national competencies, so we need now, especially in the year 2020 to take advantage of the conditions of the peaceful popular movement and youth leadership, a new revival of the country, coupled with their love for their people and their homeland, especially that Iraq is about within weeks to move to a new stage in overcoming a harsh stage in politics and economics and will move to an important transitional phase after the movement that makes us draw inspiration from lessons and lessons by relying on water August the Iraqi efficient. 
ambition and conscious of the goals of this stage and the leadership of the institutions of the national economy and the methodology of a new scientific based in sound planning and vitality and determination to overcome the challenges and focus on young people ensured a capacity homeland beloved Iraq and the Iraqi people proud people and the transition to the renaissance stage in the proper construction of the economy with a new spirit bearing. Here, the steps of the Iraqi Private Banks Association should be supported by its administrative body and the youth team working in it to achieve this goal, benefiting from the experiences of previous generations in all economic and banking activities and employing them according to their capabilities, competencies and youth potential to achieve youth leadership for the wheel of economic reform in the Renaissance stage. This is confirmed by the activities of the association 2016 to 2019 and its plan for the year 2020 and its training and qualification for banking, human resources and students of management and economics colleges in coordination with the central bank, banks and universities and adopting them to implement programs to stimulate and encourage young people and entrepreneurs in starting their small and medium enterprises through support and support of the station which is a center for care the youth, their support and the adoption of their development projects, which is the first that was established at the level of Iraq. The results of the training activity for the youth of the association during the past five years can be determined by the limits of 5,000 young male and female employees and university graduates. Training focuses on economic activities and its financial, banking and economic media. This is evidence that young people will lead the economy and the banking soon because I a ah, am that takes care of and supports young people will ensure that the great renaissance and the future of Iraq. Next article of interest. Good news for retirees. The General Retirement Authority announced today, Thursday, that the salaries of retirees will be dispersed with the increase early next week. The body said. The beginning of next week will be the date for the payment of pensions with the increase. The Commission referred the reasons for the delay in the payment of salaries, the procedures for linking the increase and introducing the legal amendments voted on. The President of the Republic, Baram Sali, had approved the Unified Retirement Law after its approval in the House of Representatives. The new increase in the salaries of retirees amounts to 100,000 dinars. Next article of interest. Legal expert. Tomorrow the parliamentary recess begins and no seventh chapter applies. A legal expert said that the legislative holiday for the House of Representatives will start tomorrow, Friday, and last for two months. Tomorrow the parliamentary holiday begins in accordance with Articles 56 and 57 of the Constitution, and this holiday continues until March 3rd. When the second semester of the second session begins and nothing has been announced about the extension until the budget bill is still with the government, Tarek Harb said in a statement. He stressed, no seventh chapter is applied to Iraq because even at the time of the previous regime, Chapter 7 did not apply, but decisions were issued by the Security Council according to Chapter 7 after the invasion of Kuwait. The most important thing is to sell oil for food and America may resort to its habit of taking legal measures, including in it the publication of the photos of those wanted and the penalties imposed on personalities, not putting Iraq under Chapter 7 as it is circulated in the media from statements by some deputies and others. Harb said, it is from the massacre globally and not internally that the parliament takes over the amendment of the financial management law number 6 of 2019 that parliament legislated this year and not years ago. It is more ludicrous that the retirement law has been amended and days have not passed since it was amended, whereas the laws are usually modified after years. Long, not days and months as our parliament did. He continued, There is no legal effect to cancel the framework agreement between Iraq and America that was ratified by Law 52 of 2008 because the agreement permitted Iraq to withdraw but the international coalition to combat terrorism that gives its parties like America remains to take what is necessary militarily is difficult to withdraw from this alliance for reasons known to the military who are fighting ISIS. He noted that the Constitution and the law specify the entry into force of the annual budget from the beginning of the year, that is, one of one of each year, and this date has passed.
It is before the day before yesterday and it does not meet the spending according to the financial management law because this law spends operating expenses and prevents investment expenses. Next article of interest. Iraqi Trade Bank announces results of profits and revenues last year. On Thursday, the head of the Iraqi Trade Bank, Faisal Alhimes, announced profits and revenues last year. Himi said in a statement that Al Sumerian News received a copy of it. The revenues of the past year 2019 amounted to 836 billion dinars, equivalent to 697 million dollars. He added that the net profit amounted to 673 billion dinars, equivalent to 561 million dollars. Next article of interest. Obama hosted pro-Iran official tied to Baghdad embassy siege. One of the people accused of abetting this week's attack on the U.S. embassy in Baghdad made an appearance at a 2011 Oval Office meeting with President Barack Obama. Hadi al-Amiri is a member of the Iraqi parliament but is viewed as Iran's conduit into Iraq via his post as the head of the Badr organization, which has roots as an Iranian military group. He was spotted outside the U.S. embassy as Iraqi Shiite militiamen and others staged a violent protest and breached the compound's outer walls on Tuesday and Wednesday, the Washington Post reported. According to multiple media reports from 2011, Al-Amiri joined then-Iraqi Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki for a White House visit. At the time, Al-Amiri was serving as Iraq's Minister for Transport. That Oval Office meeting included a discussion about Iran's influence in Iraq, the Washington Examiner reported at the time. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said in a Tuesday tweet the embassy siege was orchestrated by terrorists Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis and Qais al-Ghazali and abetted by Iranian proxies Hadi al-Amari and Fail al-Fayyad. The tweet included photos of the men outside the embassy walls. The examiner reported after the December 12, 2011, meeting that the White House would not confirm al-Amir's presence there. But the news outlet claimed that the office for al-Maliki said al-Amiri was in the delegation visiting the Obama White House. According to a Fox News report in 2011, al-Amiri once commanded the Badr Corps, which has ties to Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC. The IRGC has been suspected in multiple attacks on Western targets over the years. The embassy siege ended Wednesday when the militiamen withdrew. Once again, I would like to wish all denarians a happy and prosperous new year for us all. Hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to find me on the other platforms, so you get the news in real time as it breaks. Harness the power of the Currency Exchange Planner today. Use the promo code THEDENARIAN for the additional pre-negotiated discount for my subscribers. Get on board the blockchain gold-backed carrot bar platform today. You don't have to wait until you're filthy rich to get involved. It's free. I would not steer you in the wrong direction. Think about it. I would be shooting myself in the foot. I would not recommend something I do not stand behind 110%. Did you ever hear the term, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? The links are in the description below. Get involved now. Knowledge is power. Over and out for now. The Denarian.